for our next example, we are given as the center located at 5 and negative 6, and it is tangent to the y-axis. If we're given this kind of problem, all we have to do is to graph the center first. So in graphing the center, we are given 5 and negative 6. Therefore, this is the x value and this is the y value, and that also satisfy as h and k. So 5 and negative 6, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And negative 6 for the y coordinates, that is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. 5, negative 6, therefore, this is now the center. But then we are given another condition. We're given another condition that it is tangent to the y-axis. If it is tangent to the y-axis, therefore, the circle and the y-axis will only meet at one point. So let us try to draw the graph. So from this one, this is the center. So from the center, going to the y-axis, which will only touch at one point, and that point is negative 6, we now draw the circle. So this is now our circle, having the center, center located at 5 and negative 6, but what is the radius? Therefore, all we have to do is to count the x distance, and the x distance is from from 0 to 5. Therefore, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, r is equal to 5. The standard equation now is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Substituting the values of h and k in the equation, we'll be having x minus h quantity squared, h value is equal to 5, plus y minus k quantity squared, which is y minus negative 6 quantity squared is equal to r squared, r is equal to 5, that becomes 5 squared. x minus 5 quantity squared, plus y minus minus 6, that becomes y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to 5 squared, which is 25. Therefore, the standard equation of the circle having center at 5 and negative 6 and is tangent to the y-axis is equal to x minus 5 quantity squared plus y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to 25. For the next problem, what if we're now given the same situation but then it is now tangent to the x-axis. So again, same process. Let us now draw the center or graph the center. It is located at 5, negative 6. Same center. So this is the center. And then it's tangent to the x-axis. Therefore, it is now tangent to this axis. So let us draw. This is the center, which is 5, negative 6. If it is tangent to the x-axis, therefore, our circle and the x-axis will meet at one point. So let us now try to draw the circle. And it is tangent to the graph or to the x-axis. So this is now our graph. So of the circle, having center at 5, negative 6, and tangent to the x-axis. But how do we get now the radius? If it is tangent to the x-axis, Therefore, all we have to do is to count the y-coordinate or the y-units. So from here up to here, the y-value now is equal to 6. Therefore, that is the radius. Okay, so substituting using the formula x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared, we'll be having x minus 5 quantity squared plus y minus negative 6 quantity squared is equal to r squared or r is equal to 6 that becomes 6 squared simplifying we'll be having x minus 5 quantity squared plus y minus minus 6 is y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to what is 6 squared that becomes 36 therefore the equation or the standard equation of the circle having center at 5 and negative 6 and its tangent to the x-axis is x minus 5 quantity squared plus y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to 36.